Um, you all know Macy, of course, right? And they see the national overarching, right? The national that they put out there. And in 1996, the big, huge national convention was in Dallas, Texas. And I went. And it was my very first time as a teacher going to a conference. And I don't know if you can remember when you get back to that, like that first time you've ever gone to a conference and you are jazzed up. People are like, where are you going? You're like, I'm going to a convention. You know, woo! Which means we're all dressed up. We have a brand new pair of overalls on and that brand new blue denim shirt. You know the teacher shirt? I love kids, right? You know that shirt? Kids are my business. I care for all the little things. Yeah, okay, whatever. So I'm going to the San Diego airport. And I'm going up to women I don't even know in the airport. I'm like, oh my God, are you going to Dallas? Are you going to Dallas? I'm like, how did you know? And I'm like, <laughs> you're like 45 years old in a denim jumper with apple applique on it. I mean, come on. Where else would you possibly be going? If you follow a middle-aged woman wearing denim in a minivan, you will end up at an early childhood event. Do you know that? A little tidbit there for you. So we fly to Dallas. Pretty excited. Thursday morning there was a seminar being offered. I do not remember what it was called. I remember the description. The description said 101 new activities for your sensory table tubs, handouts, and recipes will be provided. How many of you would have been attempting to get into that room? 101 new activities with recipes and a handout? Are you kidding? It doesn't matter what the workshop topic is. If there's a handout, you know what I'm saying. It could be financial planning. I don't care. Go, 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 there's a handout. What you talking about? I don't know, but there's a handout. So we went up, and what I did not know, because it was my very first time going to a big conference, is that if there's a handout and activities, you need to get to that room like an hour before the seminar starts. And I did not know this, so I get there, and everybody is in the Dallas Convention Center trying to be so professional. Yes, excuse me, I'm going to a seminar. Excuse me, I'm going to... But inside, they're like, get out of my way! That woman has a handout! And there was no and no walking feet at all in the Dallas Convention Center. We get to the room and then we come to a screeching halt because, because the room was already full. 700 some odd people in the room. There's a line of people waiting in the hallway to get in. I am now in the back of that line, waiting to get in. And I am not a very good waiter. And I'm standing in the back of the line and I'm like, okay, this is now working for me. So I tap the woman on the shoulder in front of me and I'm like, hi, I gotta get in. And she's like, we all gotta get in. And I'm like, no, I really gotta get in. She's like, well, you're, oh, really, in the back? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so she was not gonna be very helpful. So I had to think out of the box. I'm thinking, okay, well, what am I gonna do? Once again, I'm gonna solve my own problem. And all of a sudden, I got like this, like, <gasps> moment. Have you ever got one of those? I get them constantly and tend to act on them without thinking, yes? A little self-regulation issue. Anybody know what I'm talking about? I have a shirt that says, I don't have ADD. I've got, oh, look, there's a chicken. <laughs> Yeah, so if, if you're laughing, you might have ADD. <laughs> and if you don't get it, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Some of you like, what? Yeah, there's, is it chicken for lunch? Yeah, there's chicken for lunch. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> so I have this like, and here's, here's what came to me. You've been to Disneyland, Disney World, or some kind of a Magic Kingdom kind of a thing, some kind of grand adventure park, and you're waiting in line. It's hot. You've paid a hundred bucks to get in. You don't even know what you're waiting for. Just a herd of people started getting into single file. You're like, I'm out of looking like, you know, you're sweating, got a $90 Coke in your hand, you're just waiting. <laughs> you're waiting, you're waiting. And all of a sudden, while you're waiting, this little kid starts ducking in and out of the line. You know, kind of like with a beep, 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 my mama's in the front. Beep, 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 my mama's in the front. And you're watching this little kid totally cut to the front of the line, right? There is no mother in that line. He is cut to the front, he's gonna claim a mother when he gets there. And I thought maybe that might work. <laughs> so I tried it. <laughs> and it did. <laughs> I tapped her on the shoulder again. I'm like, hi, I'm so sorry about you. Um, but I totally forgot. My friends got here early. They saved a whole row. I got a seat in there. I just got to get in. So, so I just got to get in. So excuse me. I got a seat in there. Excuse me. Beep, beep, beep. So I beep, beep my way all the way in, right? Excuse me, excuse me. And I didn't know anybody in there. And I'm walking down the aisle now looking for a seat, right? Look at I don't know anybody. And I'm walking and I'm looking. Now the lady from the hallway is chasing me, saying, I'm with her, I'm with her, I'm with her. And I'm running. I'm like, no, you're not. And I ran smack down the aisle to the front row. And in the front row, there was a woman doing the personal space purse expansion plan. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like right here where there's a bag on the chair. There's nobody coming. You just want some 
more room, right? So I'm like, what that bad? Because I knew nobody was coming. And she was from Colorado, and I sat down next to her, and we started talking. Because that's what you do. Some of you have been here 90 minutes already. You're chatting, and you know, where you're from, and what's your name, and how long you've been in the field, what age group do you work with? Oh, we'll stay in touch. Yeah, whatever. So we're chatting. <laughs> we're chatting a while. Chatting some more. And then we're like, shoot. Shouldn't this have started? And all of a sudden, the side door came open, and an NAYC woman walked in, and she had on a suit, and she was carrying a clipboard and a walkie-talkie, and we knew there was going to be trouble. She came in, she got up on the little stage riser thing, and she took the microphone, and she said, Hello, good morning. We do not know where your presenter is. And there was a gasp. Could you imagine? And nobody asked, is everything all right? Was she, is she okay? Was there an accident? Nobody cared. Three ladies in the back were like, did she ship those handouts? She was talking about some handouts. There's no handouts, there's no handouts, there's no people stuff, there's nothing. There's nothing, 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 nothing. But the Navy lady was like, well, let's give her a few more minutes. Well, she's not coming, so everybody starts packing up their stuff. Colorado ladies packing up her stuff, everybody's packing up, might as well go to another seminar, I'm already awake. So everybody's packing. And um, I looked at Colorado lady and I was like, you know, I bet I could do this. And she's like, you bet you could do what? And I'm like, I bet we could get up there and share some activities. I couldn't become fun. <laughs> she stopped packing up her bag. She looked me square in the eye and said, I dare you. <laughs> okay, so most of you have known me like 15 minutes. What do you think I did? Why not? You know what I'm saying? You get one go around. You might as well make it worth your while. I got up on the stage. I grabbed that microphone. I'm like, hello, good morning. I am Lisa Murphy, and I am not the presenter. Because I am not stupid. What did I not have? Yes. You ever gone to a workshop where they run out? Oh yeah, there's drama there. there I, oh, take one and take one and share. And you're like, share? I'm big, take share. They're small. Give me a handout, man. I've got it early for you. I said, you know, I was expecting a lot of new activity ideas. Is that what you guys are expecting? All these heads are nodding. I said, you know what? You can stay if you want. You can go if you want. We'll just kind of make the best use of the time. I'll share with you some things I've done. You can write them down, whatever. And anyway, long story short, they stayed. And for the next hour, I literally barfed out every single activity I had ever heard of in my life. How to make flubber, and how to make rainbow stew, and how to make play-doh. And just like, hoo -la, hoo -la, hoo -la. All I saw for an hour out in the audience was the tops of their heads because everybody was just frantically writing everything down. And every now and again, the hand would pop up and be like, how much cream and water? Six teaspoons, thank you, right there. <laughs> how much flour? Four cups, got it, right? Four cups, four cups, ready to go four. And at the end, they stood up and they clapped. And it was kind of cool. And it, and it wasn't just like, I mean, it was like, like <sighs> And this one woman came running down the aisle, like she just won the Price is Right. Have you ever seen that? She was like, and she was screaming and laughing Plato recipe, there might be a business opportunity in there. <laughs> and I took it. 